space, the final frontier. It has always been speculated that there is adventure and even life beyond our planet. From Sputnik 1 to SpaceX to the meme of Georgia A. Sukarlos ranting about aliens on the History Channel, space exploration has fascinated us for as long as we knew it was possible. Some theories of alien life are dubious at best, and their purpose is more to excite our imaginations than anything else. But there are many mysteries from space that we continuously uncover. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysterious space objects. The Skull Asteroid, TB145 In 2015, on Halloween no less, an ominous space rock flew past our planet. The hunk of mass was thought to be a lifeless comet which had lost all of its vaporous properties, such as water due to countless orbits around the Sun. Astronomers were taken aback by the appearance of the asteroid as it looked hauntingly similar to a cosmically sized human skull. The 2015 flyby cut it pretty close by space standards. It passed with only 1.27 lunar distances between. The comet passed again in 2018 but kept more of a distance. Because the comet is extinct, it has no tail. It is relatively small, all things considered, clocking in at approximately 2,047 feet or 625 meters. Vishnu Reddy, a scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in Tucson, Arizona, had this to say about it according to NASA's JPL site. We found that the object reflects about 6% of the light it receives from the sun. That is similar to fresh asphalt, and while here on Earth we think that is pretty dark, it is brighter than a typical comet, which reflects only 3-5% to of the light. That suggests it could be cometary in origin, but as there is no comma evident, the conclusion is it is a lifeless comet. It is indeed, Mr. Eddy. While it is projected to pass Venus and Mercury several times in the next few years, it is not scheduled to pass by Earth again until 2082. It should be noted that the eerie appearance of the beaming skull is only visible from certain angles, so for anyone thinking that this could be a threat or perhaps a greeting from intelligent life, it's more likely that it is our own narcissistic biases getting the better of us. Earth Mini Moon 2020 SO is actually a rocket booster. Leading up to September 2020, there was news that Earth could get a new mini-moon. A mini-moon is a space rock that briefly gets pulled into Earth's orbit by gravity, but exits after a certain amount of time. Around this time, NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies was noticing that the orbit of the unidentified object was extremely similar to Earth's, namely that it was practically circular and on the same plane. Not only that, it was moving significantly more slowly than a space rock usually does. This, along with some of its other features, made it incredibly unique, and caused some researchers to speculate that it might not be an asteroid at all, but a rocket booster instead. Specifically, one that we ourselves launched in the earliest days of space exploration. At the time, the object was referred to as 2020 SO. If it was a booster, it was launched in late 1966. This would mean it was likely a product of NASA or the Soviet Union who were in the space race at the time. Around early December, it was finally confirmed that the object was a rocket booster that belonged to NASA's Surveyor 2. While this technically disqualifies it from being a mini-moon, it is interesting to note that this hunk of space junk survived when the lander itself didn't crashing on the surface of the moon in 1966. On December 1st, 2020, it passed very closely to our planet at just 0.13 lunar distances, and then again on February 2nd, 2021, at just 0.58 lunar distances. As of March 2021, the object will break free of Earth's gravitational pull and orbit the Sun instead. These days we build rockets to be reusable and land back on Earth on ships at sea. But believe it or not, there are quite a few rockets from that time period that were lost. Because of its hollowness, pressure created by the solar radiation pushed it off course and changed its trajectory. It turns out that it has actually passed Earth a few times, completely unnoticed. 
But for now, it's time to wave goodbye to the rocket booster. Until next time. 2020 CD3 An object known as 2020 CD3 was already acting as Earth's second moon for a time being. In fact, the moon had been orbiting Earth for at least a year when astronomers finally identified it in February 2020. To be fair, it was pretty hard to miss, as the space rock really is the miniest of mini moons. It is only about three feet or a little under a meter wide. Unfortunately, by early March 2020, the moon was flung out of our gravitational pull and began to orbit the sun instead. We waved goodbye to our little moon earlier than expected, as it was originally projected to leave in April of that same year. While 2020 CD3 had been orbiting for at least a year, it is possible that it actually had been in revolution for up to three years before we noticed it. 2020 CD3 now orbits the Sun every 379 days. Astronomers are unsure if the space rock is a miniature asteroid or perhaps a piece of our Moon that was broken off. While it was classified as a near-Earth object, it was not seen as a potentially hazardous object as simulations never indicated any chance of collision. Quite frankly, this object was always too small to be a threat regardless. Even if it did collide with the Earth, it would have been broken up in the atmosphere before touching ground. In March 2044, our former mini-moon will be close to Earth again, but not quite close enough to be pulled back into the orbit. The next time that it is likely that the space rock re-enters our orbit is not for a few thousand years. The reason Earth has trouble keeping a mini-moon is because the gravitational pull from other elements of our solar system, like the Moon and the Sun, are strong enough to make the circuits of these rocks unstable. But who knows, another chunk of Astro Rock might be out there waiting to be our next mini-moon. So whether these objects simply fly by or stay with us for a longer period of time, every interaction gets us excited about what is out there in the great expanse that is space. While we can't always trace these objects or predict what they will do and where they will go, the mysteries of space will continue to fascinate us for eons to come. Who knows when the next compelling discovery will come flying our way. But what do you make of these mysterious space objects? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.